one of the and welcome to our YouTube channel Nan Manjari Models. So in the previous videos we have just we are just going through the chapter number two that is components of the food. Okay, in that we have first of all talk about the carbohydrates then about the fats then in that carbohydrates we have just seen the further two types that was sugar and starch. Okay. Then after we have seen fats and in that also we have seen two types that was uh, solid at room temperature and liquid at room temperature. So solid at room temperature that is butter and liquid at room temperature that is vegetable oil. And then after we have seen the proteins in the previous video. Okay students. Now moving towards the vitamins. Also we have seen in the previous video and here we have just reached to the minerals. Okay. Before that we just revised the minerals and vitamins. Sorry proteins and vitamins. That is our muscle organs and even blood is made up of proteins along with the other things. Our body needs protein for muscle building and repairing warm out tissues. If we do not eat the required amount of the protein our body will not be able to repair damage cell or build new ones. Rich sources of animal proteins are meat, fish, eggs and milk. Rich sources of plant proteins are pulses, soya beans, grams and nuts. Figure 2.3 shows animal as well as plant sources of proteins. Okay. Then after we have seen the activity and then after here vitamins. In that we have seen the two types of vitamins that was fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. Fat soluble vitamins are stored as fat cells in the fat cells. Okay, but the water soluble vitamins cannot be stored in our body. So regularly we have to take that vitamins from the outside by the food. Okay, now coming towards the minerals. So here. Minerals Minerals So Here What is minerals first of all So Minerals help in the proper functioning of the various parts of the body So what is the use of the minerals That is it Minerals helps See I am just writing Minerals help Minerals help in the proper in the proper functioning of functioning of the various part. various parts of the body parts of the body ok so what is a mineral used for here minerals helps in the proper functioning of the various parts of the body so here we all know that the vitamins, minerals Carbohydrates, fats, all, all we need for our body, for regular growth, energy, for proper functioning of the all the parts of the body, we need all this thing. But there is some limit of it. If we just eat more and more fats, then we have seen we just cause the heart diseases. Okay, so all the things at the minimum level it is required for our body or else there are some of the disadvantages of it for our body ok students now the next point that is minerals are needed for many important body functions such as formation of the bones teeth and blood cells as well as maintaining a normal heartbeat so here the minerals are used for the most important thing which is to be there in our body so which we think that is 
here formation of formation of bones teeth and blood cell as well as as well as maintaining maintaining a normal normal heart beat heart beat. okay so here in the second point they have just told us that so the minerals are how it is useful they are just do the most important part some functions of the body so what is that that is formation of bones means when if i say when the baby is born so their bones are small so what is to be given to the baby the more minerals are given to the baby so the bones then after what teeth then after blood cells as well as okay this three things will be formed faster so their bones will be strong okay and also at this minerals can maintain a normal heart beat means if we just eat the enough amount or the minimum amount of the minerals then it is good for our heart also why because they just maintain our heart beat to the normal okay then after the next point that is some minerals are needed in small amounts such as iron zinc copper and magnesium so the minerals which are needed in small amount that are minerals needed in small amount minerals needed needed in small amount small amount such as iron zinc copper and iodine okay so this are the minerals which are needed in small amount in our body so which are that they are iron zinc copper and iodine they are needed in very small amount for our body so we do not need to eat more minerals which contains iron zinc copper and iodine okay so the next point that is minerals such as calcium magnesium sodium and potassium are needed by our bodies in large amounts okay so here minerals which are needed in large amount that are minerals needed needed in large amount large amount such as calcium calcium magnesium magnesium 
सोडियम एंड पोटेशियम पोटेशियम दिस आर नीडेड इन लार्ज अनोन इन आर बॉडी ओके फ्रेंड्स so here the minerals which are needed in small amount that are minerals that needed in small amount such as iron zinc copper and iodine which we have just in less amount in our body okay students and the minerals which are needed in large amount that are calcium magnesium sodium and potassium okay students that are needed large in the large amount in our body okay students now moving forward but before that let us revise this minerals so first of all how the minerals are used so minerals help in the proper functioning of the various parts of the body okay minerals are needed in the proper functioning of the parts of the body second one that they form the what they form bones teeth and blood cells means with the help of the minerals the bones teeth and the blood cells their growth just increases then after they just also maintain a normal heart beat okay they just maintain a normal heart beat and then after next point we have seen that was the minerals which needed in small amount in our body that are iron zinc copper and iodine then after the minerals which are needed in large amounts such as calcium magnesium sodium and potassium okay students so this is all about the minerals and yes we just see the rich sources of minerals that are milk spinach carrot fish broccoli cheese lemons oranges iodized salt okay here if we just talk about the iodized salt so from that what happens in the tv we have seen an advertisement of the iodine namak yes so what is that so in that in that salt the ions are present so that the ions will get to your body that is all the iodine iodized namak uh, salt okay now here moving towards the dietary fibers so what are they let us see that but before that if you want to just write down the main points of the minerals then you can write this i am just giving you some time okay students moving forward to the dietary fibers Fiber helpful to us is fiber present in other food too. 
then after the fiber present in our food is called the dietary fibers it is very important part of our diet dietary fibers add bulk to our food and thus helps to push solid waste through the intestine so that they can be easily passed out of the body so here talking about the dietary fibers so dietary fibers so here what are dietary fibers that is the fibers fibers present the fibers present in our food is called dietary fibers okay they are called the dietary fibers here we all have listened that this food contains this fibers and ions minerals vitamins fats carbohydrates and other thing so in the food the fibers which are present they are known as the dietary fibers okay students in the food the fibers which are present they are known as the dietary fibers now moving towards the next that is this are very important part of our diet means yeah, there should be dietary fibers in the food and we also have to eat that kind of the food which contains the dietary fibers now here how it is important let us see dietary fibers dietary fibers adds bulk to food to our food and thus helps helps to push helps to push solid waste solid waste through through the intestines so that so that they can they can they can be easily passed out of the body okay they can be easily pass out of the body here so what the dietary fibers do okay what the dietary fibers do here dietary fibers add bulk to our food and thus helps to push solid waste through the intestine so that 
they can be easily pass out of the body okay students <coughs> here dietary fibers just helps the food to be digest easily and just so that they can easily go out of our body for that that this dietary fibers are there in our body okay now moving further that which where the fibers is present okay so here we get fibers from mostly from plants foods plant foods fruits vegetables and whole grain are examples of food rich in fibers here from where where this fibers are we just consume this fibers so here we consume this type of fibers from fruits vegetables and whole grains whole grains are example examples of food rich in fiber okay food rich in fiber here so from where these kinds of the fibers we get so here fruits vegetables and whole grains are the examples are the examples of the food rich in fiber so we just regularly eat what we just regularly eat fruits vegetables and whole grains so this kinds of the fibers will be there in our body okay students we all know that we just eat the different different kinds of the vegetables daily in our life okay we just don't eat one vegetable whole big and uh, whole one or anything else we just eat different different kinds of the vegetables on every time okay like lunch and in dinner there are different different vegetables in next day also that should not be same we just have to repeat that so that all the kinds of the carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals we just get from the food okay and here if you have noticed one thing then here in the uh, carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals the common one thing that is milk okay from milk all these kinds of the things is will be there in our body so we have to drink milk in our regular life so that we get enough amount of the carbohydrate fats proteins vitamins and minerals okay students and here the next point that is lack of fibers in the diet causes the stool to become hard and difficult to pass leading to a condition called the constipation here if we just don't have enough fibers in our body so the food will not just go out of the body and there will be a thing that is known as constipation okay due to this so here next point i will write that is lack of fiber lack of fiber in the diet in the diet causes the stool to become hard and difficult hard and difficult
Two pass. Leading a condition. Leading a condition. Called constipation. Some of the main points of it. So the fibers, first of all, what are the dietary fibers? Okay, so the fibers which are present in our food, they are known as the dietary fibers. Then after, what how the dietary fiber helps in our body? So what happens? Dietary fiber adds bulk to our body and thus helps to push solid waste through the intestine so that. They can be easily passed out of the body. Okay, so for making our diet easily to pass out our body, the unwanted things, dietary fibers are used. Third point that is where from where the we get the dietary fibers that are fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are the examples of the food rich in fibers. Then after fourth point that is if there is not enough fibers. In our body, then what happens? The this is known as the constipation happens due to that. And if you just start again eating the fiber-rich food, then the constipation will go. So here, lack of fiber in the diet causes the food to become hard and difficult to pass, leading a condition called the constipation. It can be asked that what is constipation? Then you have to write this definition. Okay, students. Now moving further. Okay, students. If you want to write this main points, you can write in your. Book. I am just giving you some time. Okay, students. Have you written down? Now, just please write down your homework. Write about minerals. Okay, and then after write about dietary fiber.
Okay. So these things you have to write down in your homework, and we will meet in the next video. Okay, by students. <coughs> okay. In that, what you have to do, you have you can just write the board work which I have done. That write about minerals and all. The board work which I have written in the minerals, you have to write down that and write about dietary fibers. So the points which I have written in the board of the dietary fibers, you have to write. Okay students, we will meet in the next video. Bye.